In this Prello review, I'm going to show you everything you need to know about this support tool. Prello helps small businesses and B2B founders find and connect with key decision makers in fast growing tech companies at the right time in their growth cycle. Once we've logged in, we come over to the dashboard. Here's where it displays all the different companies and startups, and we have loads of options to filter them by. So obviously the first search box, we can search by name. If there was a specific company or startup we were looking for, we could just type that in there. There's also the option to search by industry. If there was a particular industry that you were interested in looking up, you can also search by role. So you could search marketing or finance or something like that. And then you can also search by location as well. If you were looking location specific. We also have this sliding bar here where we can filter it by the funds raised. So you could filter it by 2 million to 10 million, 2 million to 5 million, or obviously if you're looking for smaller sort of startups, you could go below 1 million. We can also filter it by the number of employees. So you can do it from 1 to 10 all the way to 10,000 plus. There's a few more options where we can download the data export data to a close CRM, and also save our search. So here this has brought up a few different companies for us. For the first one, we can see the rating, that's got a rating of 6%, the company name, the funding stage, funding date, last funding, total funding, location, and then we also have these options here. So the first one is some contact information. As we can see, we have their email, their phone, their website, when they were founded, and again, the same information that's there, the rating, the funding stage, last funding date. We also have options at the top where we can add this to our shortlist, reject company, add to contacted companies, look at their LinkedIn, send email, or call them. As we can see, we've also got those settings there where we've got the call option, that brings up the same section, and LinkedIn, which will bring us over to LinkedIn. It's also got the employees number as well, so we've got 11 to 50, and if we wanted to actually have a better look at the employees, then we can click on there and we can go on employees and this will bring us up a list of the employees. We can get their contact information or we can go on their LinkedIn. So if we wanted to contact someone specifically, we could go and get contact information and then that will bring up their email. Below companies, we also have prospects. So this brings up an array of different people who it sees as future prospects. As we can see, it's got our first person, it's got their job title, their LinkedIn, the option to unlock their email, their company, location, funding date, and their last funding. If you were to click on them, you can also get their contact information that way as well. Again, we have those same filters, so we can filter it by funds raised, and that will obviously affect the search. If we decided to save future prospects, then they would show up in this section here, our saved prospects. Below saved prospects, there's also recently funded, and this brings up companies that have recently been funded. If we go on more options, this brings up more of a menu. So we then have delivered today, shortlisted companies, contacted companies, for once we've contacted them, they would show up there, review notes, rejected companies, who is hiring, and then hiring this month. It's worth noting as well that if you click on the company next to the description, we do have jobs where it would show if they've got any jobs going, obviously the employees and notes where we could add a note ourselves and save it. Next to dashboard, we have funding news. Here it will give us news about various companies and startups. As we can see for the first company, it's got how much they raised in 2022. And there's also the option to invite friends via email. Next up on the news, we have settings where you can obviously add your industry. I just set mine as UK advertising and marketing. But say if I wanted to edit that, then I could name my filter and I could search the industries. So as we can see, it brings up loads of different industries here. I could do artificial intelligence, clean energy, commercial, content creators and corporate training. Then if we go and save there, if we head back over to the dashboard, that's going to bring up a new lot of companies depending on our filters that we've just set. This is, of course, also the same with prospects as well. 
Next to settings we have profile, that's obviously where you can just adjust your email address or contact details and name. Next to there we have templates, where there's set templates that help you boost your marketing. We have pricing plans and also compliance. This obviously brings up GDPR statements and stuff like that. Finally, if you went to the who is hiring section and there was a few results there, say if we went for the first result, save your wardrobe, we go over to jobs, we can see it's product owner job available in Tunisia. We can click on there and that will take us over to apply for the job. And that's just about everything. So what did I think of Prello? Prello certainly makes it easy to connect with businesses and prospects. It has a great set of features, which means you can really find what you're looking for. I also really like the who is hiring feature which lets you easily apply for jobs at the various companies or startups. I would definitely recommend Prello for small businesses. Thank you very much, and I'll see you next time.